Today I repaired some concrete steps and I kind of disguised them by putting mud over the top of the cement. I'm going to show you how I did it. Now, today's job is I just got to patch this little concrete step up. This thing right here and this thing right here. So I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm just working across the street over there. The lady asked me if I could fix it. So real fast, quick job. First thing I do is just like a dentist, get up all the all the soft stuff. Just get down there until you think you're good. That's all I do. See? Wire brush. Get all the loose stuff out. Then get my sprayer of water. And wash it off. You know what I mean? Get all the dust off of it. Then I'm just going to get a little temporary form, put it against it, make sure it's snug in there. Then get some rapid set mortar mix. I'm only going to use what I absolutely need for that little short period of time. Because it dries fast. So I need about, yeah, maybe that much. I add the water. It dries fast, this stuff. going to mix what I need. Got to make sure it's wet enough. Not too wet. Again, gotta make sure it's wet. Put it right in there. You want to use your rubber glove? You just make sure that it connects to that stuff real good when you're doing patches like this. See what I mean? It's drying fast already. Want. Move this down a little bit. And same thing. Get it in there with your hand and a rubber glove. Make sure it sticks in there real good. It's the whole idea. Stick in there real good. I only mix what I need it. Now this is a concrete edger. So I'm gonna put the this down like this. I hope you could see that. And I'm gonna run this edger right on that thing sideways when you're taking these boards off. And now, now I got a, an edge here. And then, you see any bad spots, just hit it with the trowel a little bit like that. Underneath, like that. And get your little sponge and just go over it like that. Make it look a little older. Hide all your sins. Up here, I put two little forms. I'm gonna fill it with cement, though. Now, like I tell you, you gotta make sure it's wet. And you get it down in there like this.
sure it's in there good. Get my concrete edger. See, you can see the edge here. That's what we want to mimic. Best we can. We're faking it. You know what I mean? Faking it. And we just get the sponge. It's only six, seven minutes, eight minutes later. Took the forms off. Kind of form it around with the sponge. It's still wet. Now I'm going to show you something pretty radical. See this in here? You know what this is? This is mud. I went around. I got some mud from around the area. I'm just going to put the mud in there. Mike, why are you putting mud in there? Because it's going to dry so bright that uh, it looks so brand new. I don't want that. I want it, and it's going to soak this mud in and stain it a little bit so you won't really notice the patch as much. You see what I'm saying? Not going to see the patch as much. So it's a little, not going to help 100%, but it's going to help a lot. Looks like I wouldn't even be here. Comprende? Comprende? Now this is wet from uh, last night, but see how that dirt kind of hides everything? I'm going to explain a little bit more about it. So I don't know if you could see it that good, but that's what it looks like. A couple weeks later, it all blends in when you use the dirt. I'm going to talk about that job a little bit. When you mix that rapid setup, it, it dries real fast. You only mix what you absolutely need. See me with the rubber glove, you get it in there, you marry it to that uh, the old part. So that works good. When you get the form, you have to form up against the steps and you, you don't pull it away. You keep pressure on it and you slide it. And that keeps the, the cement from falling away. Uh, concrete edger, you've seen me do that a lot of, a lot of times. I have a, sometimes I'll have an affiliate site in the description and you'll you could look at one there uh, you see me paint that with mud what I would I went and got some mud I mixed it all up real gooey like and it goes all the way back Michelangelo the Sistine Chapel he painted and basically paint is it like a form of mud he painted into the, the the ceiling and it and it seeps into the plaster so it actually becomes a piece of the plaster and the dirt becomes a piece of the cement when I'm going in there and it stains it. Now I would have I would have told them well you could paint it with Portland if they were in their 20s or the 30s because they could do it every year but this was like an 85 year old lady how she wanted was the step fixed I charged her almost nothing and then I stained it so it doesn't look like a big blinker because that stuff dries real bright so you could cover it with mud you got to get good at it you cover it with mud and then it'll look, look like the rest of the steps because eventually they all get stained with it. So a little, little trick to hide new work. That's all that is. That's all I, I, I got to say. I hope you pick something up from these videos every time I do one. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock and that's it.